Hello guys, Craig Frost here and welcome back to another Juicy Tuts tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can get a new boost gauge like this one you see in front of you in Rocket League and um, this is one that I have made and I haven't seen anyone else do this yet at the time of making this video so I'm going to show you how you can also make it as well but first of all I'll show you how to install a boost gauge so I'll put the link to this in the description this is the mod that I've made um, this is what it looks like in the game it's really cool uh, just click download here in the right and you'll get a zip file just like the one here on my desktop so just right click extract all and that'll make a new folder and then you can delete the zip folder we don't need that anymore now inside this folder is uh, two DDS textures okay and this is what we need to put into our game to replace uh, the textures that are already in there. So another thing you'll need to download is UMod. If you haven't already used UMod for custom decals or anything like that, I'll put this link in the description. And you want to download, I found UMod Alpha version 2 R49.zip to be the best one. Now be careful, there is three. There's source alphas with 49 with log.zip, but you want just a UMod Alpha version 2 R49. Dot zip. You click that, download that, um, unpack whatever that downloads at, and you'll get a folder which looks like this. And then you just want to run the UMod application, which is this. I've already got it running. It'll open up this window here. And then you want to go to main, use global hook. Make sure that's ticked. And then main, add game, navigate to wherever you have your Rocket League installed. It's normally in the C drive under programs, Steam, Steam apps, common, Rocket League, binaries, Win32. And then you got to click Rocket League application and then open that. But I've already got this game installed, so that's fine. Now all you need to do is run Rocket League. So we'll open up Rocket League here. And that'll just take a moment to open up, but you'll get a new tab in uh, UMod open up, which says Rocket League. And so we'll just let Rocket League open up. And we'll start just a little exhibition game um, against no bots, just so you can see uh, what the boost looks like. So there it is in the bottom right corner. It's looking normal at the moment, but that's because we haven't replaced the textures just yet. So we'll let this game start. And what I'll do now is I'll just tab to UMod and tab to the folder that we downloaded with the two boost gauge textures in and we just drag that into UMod and as I get let go look at the boost icon in the bottom right corner, bam, it's been replaced and this is what it looks like. As it fills up, the stars get bigger and bigger until it's 100% and then as we use our boost it goes down just like the old boost gauge and we have a nice semi-transparent blurry star in the background as well. It's, it just makes the game look a little bit different and a bit more fun. Um, it won't enhance your game in any way but none of these mods do. So that's how you install it. So if you've come to this video from the mods page and you're looking just how to install it, that's how you do it. So that will help you. Now if you want to make your own boost gauges it's really easy to do. Um, so I'll exit the game. We will have to launch that again later. Um, what I will do is give a download link in the description which has these original boost textures. Now what these are, these are the textures from the game files without any adjustments made to them. And these are what you're going to use to make your own adjustments. So another thing you'll need is a program like paint.net or any um, graphic editing program which supports DDS files. Paint.net does straight out of the box. GIMP does with a, a DDS plugin. Photoshop isn't free but it does support it if you get a DDS plugin as well. But Paint.net is free and it supports DDS um, files straight away. So what we'll do is that original boost gauge which will be in the description um, download both of those textures and we'll drag one in to begin with and this is quite familiar, this is the texture from the game which is the background of the boost gauge. So for this, I'm just going to change the colours just slightly. So if we go to effects, no adjustments, curves, and let's, yeah, so I've, st I've made it red. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it as red. And then we'll just file, save as, and now save it into a different folder because you want to keep these original ones so that you can do a different one in the future. So we'll call this colour boost and I've spelt color the American way 
Um, don't change the file name, it needs to be exactly the same and save it as a DDS. Click save and I use DXT3 and leave everything else how it is and click OK and that will save. And we'll just double check that now on the desktop. There should be the new color boost folder we made with the new texture in there and it is there. So we'll go back to the original boost and now we need to do the second texture. So we can close this and where is that second texture? There it is. So this is the overlay which will of course go up or down depending on how much boost you have. So we'll make a hue adjustment to this just to change the color. We'll make it a, let's make it a pinky color. There we go. Nice pink. So pink and red. And again, we will save that into our new folder with the name, original name of the file as a DDS. Click save. Leave these settings there, just change DXT3. It should remember it from last time. And that's saved and we can now get rid of that. And both the new textures should be inside this folder, which they are. So we'll now launch up Rocket League one more time. We just have to wait for this to start up. Hopefully it won't take too long. UMod has got a new tab on it, which says Rocket League. And by the way, if you haven't seen any tutorials on how to install custom decals for cars, which you can also download from that same website, you do it exactly the same way. So we're gonna start a new match just so we can see the boost icon and we'll have the original boost icon in the bottom right corner and we'll now add these new textures we just made the pink and red probably not the best um, but in we go and there you go see it's already been replaced but you can do more than just change colors as you saw i did a star one which looks really nice you can they don't even need to be round um, as long as it's inside the texture area you can do exactly what you want you can put your face in there if you want Heck, let's, let's put my face in there. Oh uh, yeah, we'll have my face on the boost icon. <laughs> of course, you can take loads of time and do this properly. So we'll just save that as this same file name. We'll overwrite the red one, that's fine. And click OK, minimize that. And now in new mod, I'll just remove the textures we put in there, update so it goes back to normal. And then we'll drag these two in again. And there we go. If I use all my boost up, you'll see my face come through. Oh, I've got a big zero in my face. And then, as I pick up the boost, it covers up my face. Oh, look, it looks like the the, um, the two zeros of the 100 are goggles. Anyway, there you go, guys. That's how to customize your own boost gauge and how to install one if you download it from the mod website. Um, I hope you found this useful. Leave a like if you did find it useful because it really helps me. And subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of videos. Anyway, I'll see you again next time. Cheers. Bye.